Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and we have a very interesting transit going on here. We have the aspect of Jupiter from Pisces upon an exalted Mercury which is obviously in the sign of Virgo. But this is a very interesting transit. Why? Because let me give you the dates here. On 10th of uh, this is the date on 10th of September Mercury will be retrograde for 23 days uh, um, up to 2nd of October this year but the interesting thing is it will still be in the sign of Virgo okay so if you see till when okay so you see this, uh, this is from drikpanchang.com. So this is Kanya Rashi. So 21st August, Mercury uh, had entered the sign of Virgo. And it will be entering Tula Rashi, which is the sign of Libra on 26th October. So essentially from 21st October to 26th October, Mercury will be entirely in the sign of Virgo. It will be retrograde, then first it will be uh, forward, then it will be stationary, then it will be retrograde, then again stationary, then again forward, right? So it will not enter back Leo, nor will it cross Libra, okay? So it's almost more than uh, two months, if you can see, right? So there's a very interesting transit, not because it is exalted, uh, and retrograde but uh, because it is uh, aspected by Jupiter also so we will discuss about the retrograde part some other day when Mercury goes retrograde but today we would like to discuss um, what what will happen uh, because see this Mercury is receiving the aspect of a Jupiter which is in own sign yes so Planets in own sign are very powerful actually. Now, of course, uh, Mercury is also exalted. He is even more powerful, right? So what does Jupiter Mercury represent? What is, what is the difference between Jupiter and Mercury, right? So Jupiter represents our ability to learn things from a guru, right? From a senior, from, uh, from anybody who is already experienced and uh, can share his or her experience with us and bless us right <coughs> but what does mercury represent mercury represents things that we learn ourselves through our experience or without a guru basically okay so not only experience but it can be showing any kind of indirect learning okay or it can show a direct learning also but we are in the mood of a student right so a typical example is uh, of uh, lord krishna and arjuna so lord krishna is explaining the bhagavad gita to arjuna uh, but what is arjuna doing he is listening patiently right arjuna is asking a lot of questions uh, so question inquiry these are traits of uh, mercury and jupiter both of them right so now what is happening when they are aspecting each other right so it is like jupiter is aspecting mercury which means jupiter is see whenever two planets aspect each other they transfer their uh, characteristics to each other right we know that's basics of astrology so what happens when Jupiter aspects Mercury. So when Jupiter aspects Mercury, there is this uh, need within Mercury which feels that yes, now I should seek a guru and I should learn from um, him basically, right? Because Jupiter wants Mercury to learn from him, all right? So therefore, the student within us, which is Mercury, will experience this need to go and learn from somebody. Now, what happens when Mercury is aspecting Jupiter? What happens, right? So, when Mercury aspects Jupiter, the student is questioning back to the Guru, right? To the uh, preceptor. So, because of this, what can happen is the Guru will be 
or rather good the guru is forced to answer uh, the students queries right so what happens when this conjunction occurs well the same situation can um, occur in our life so basically if we have uh, doubts over certain things in our life if we are not very clear about what to do where to do how to do when to do then uh, it is best if we seek guidance from a guide or a guru or a counselor along with it uh, if we have subordinates then now see what is happening here is although both are respecting each other but mercury is exalted so it kind of shows that the student is more powerful the subordinate is more powerful right now more powerful doesn't mean that uh, the student will override the preceptor but it can sometimes mean that uh, the student can inquire things which the preceptor may not know so if we have subordinates if we have some students right then they may they may end up asking some questions which we may not be able to fathom right now see the tricky thing here is although mercury is exalted which obviously is in the sign of virgo and virgo shows getting into the details of things and virgo shows uh, clear, clarify clarification of things right but jupiter is in pisces and pisces although is not the exaltation sign of jupiter but if you compare pisces and if you compare uh, virgo then pisces is a much more evolved sign okay compared to virgo right so it's a very delicate situation where a planet is exalted so an exalted planet always or rather sometimes exerts itself very strongly right because the exaltation shows that the dharma which is the inherent constituent of the um, planet is very strong so the planet feels empowered to make the necessary changes for one's betterment so now what is happening is an exalted planet and that to a planet like mercury so virgo is also the own sign and the exaltation right because mercury rules virgo so now what happens is the questions are very serious the inquiries are very serious the inquiries are very delicate the inquiries are very 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 critical they can sometimes end up going to the uh, root cause of things right but here jupiter is in pisces so what does jupiter do jupiter is like okay you got to have the answers but not now you have to be patient right the sign of pisces has all divine qualities within itself okay so the sign of pisces tells mercury that well my dear student you wish to have all the answers now and it's perfectly fine that you wish so nothing wrong with wishing but that may not be possible now you might have to wait you might have to experience things yourself and apply what i have told you only then you will figure out the answers okay so this transit of uh, mercury into virgo aspected by jupiter from pisces can give us this beautiful dynamics where we try to figure out answers but we try to understand that everything may not be answered right away right and this will even more further be in reinstantiated when jupiter aspects a retrograde mercury right we have seen till from 10th of september to 2nd of october uh, mercury will be retrograde so that time there is even more churning even more questioning even more answers right but at the same time pisces is also the own sign of jupiter so pisces uh, the uh, the people who have a prominent pisces or especially jupiter in pisces they have a prominent trait and that is to learn from their gurus okay so now imagine you are wanting to learn something from the guru but you are not satisfied so what should you do should you dis- should you dismiss the guru should you dismiss the knowledge of the guru well not necessarily 
you may feel that your guru is not able to satisfy your queries or maybe your questions are not answered but that does not mean you will disregard the guru okay because especially in mundane life uh, it may be sometimes okay to uh, inform the guru that you know i am not getting uh, the right guidance from you maybe you know i might want to look somewhere else and you might respectfully part ways but especially in the spirit in in your spiritual life um, unless it is a very critical situation one should not be uh, disregarding one's guru okay that is a very 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 uh, it's it's a terrible thing to do it's called guru avagya basically where you disrespect the guru and that is the worst thing that you can do uh, in your spiritual life all right all your piety and all the spirit merits uh, of your good karma and of your spiritual work um, everything gets extinguished okay so especially if you are in a spiritual domain where you have your shiksha guru your diksha guru then please make sure that you are very respectful to them and you do not disregard them just because um, they do not to your line okay now of course this is a very um, interesting conjunction because here if you see mars is also aspecting sun in leo which is you know the uh, <clears throat> 12th house from where mercury is placed right so whenever mars aspects the 12th from where mercury is placed so the anxiety increases okay and we start to feel you know the need to get things done immediately right because the 12th house shows what is going on in the background so in the background deep down inside somewhere we feel that we may not get all the answers we things may not work out ourselves right now of course uh, this may not just work out in the area of guidance and uh, guru disciple relationship it can also work out in the area of your profession so imagine mercury is your 10th lord right so even then this can play out because in that case what can happen is you may start to feel that uh, yes my boss is not listening to me or my subordinate is not listening to me and i am not able to navigate through it right but give give your boss or the subordinate the time that is required they will respond depending on your horoscope and you will understand that things will happen but it will happen in its own due course of time okay so therefore is a very interesting transit because the lords of these two signs are sitting in their own houses right so mercury lords virgo is sitting there jupiter lords pisces and is also sitting there so it's like a situation where both are very strong but uh, mercury seems to have the upper edge slightly because of its exaltation but nonetheless pisces is a very evolved sign so it does not mean that your teacher or your guru or your preceptor will not be able to answer your queries but you got to be patient uh, my dear sir my dear madam and along with it uh, make sure you do not disrespect uh, your preceptor and uh, try to understand that the most important thing during this transit is two way communication okay so one way communication will not help you much during this time um therefore communication should always be two way so i hope that this clears um, the misunderstandings and it prepares you well for the transit all right so thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you like this video please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already thank you very much